I don't think this product will be perfect because it's really wide. <laughs> stopping by to my channel my name is UV and today I am going to replace my foundation with the Dr. Jart stick up hair and this is super popular these days especially because it is actually a correcting cream and it heals and soothes your irritating skin especially if you have sensitive skin this is supposedly really good for you this is definitely new and I'm doing a first impression so if you want to know how I like this then please keep on watching. It claims to rest and repair solution for sensitive skin, protects skin and covers blemishes. And the best part about it is that it has SPF 30. So I'm going to not wear my sunscreen today and I'm just going to straight put this on, put a little bit of blush and contour powder and we are done. It's a little green cream and I'm just going to take some of the products from the back of the leaf because I don't want to waste anything. And then I'm going to take a little bit more because I have a white face. I don't think that that bit was enough. So I'm just going to take this. It smells like this Chinese medicine and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it. It smells a little like mint, but like mint medicine. So this is what it looks like and I'm just going to put it on my skin. Let me wear my bandana. You can definitely smell it when you put it on your face. It's it's not the strongest smell. I mean, it, it has some kind of like a strong smell, but if you don't mind it, then it's okay. But I know that my friend really de doesn't like this smell, so yeah, I think to each of its own. And I'm actually going to use this diamond sponge to just blend everything because I feel like it blends better and it takes less products than if you use your fingers because your fingers has pores and this way you can save the product. Can you see how my, my skin looks really fair? And even when the color is green, but as I blend it, it becomes whiter. If you have darker skin than me, I don't think this product will be perfect because it's really white. <laughs> Let me tell you a fun fact. So Dr. Jar was started by a South Korean doctor, dermatologist in 2001 before they started to expand into international market where you know they start selling their products worldwide in 2006 and I've always been impressed about the story of how the big company started and they started from the bottom and look what they are now I think that's such a cool inspiring and motivating story yeah that's a little fun fact for you that's literally Almost 20 years ago, Dr. Jart started. I'm going to bring out the products down a little bit just so that the color matches up with my face because you can really tell the difference if I don't blend it down. I'm not sure if I'm going to cover it more because this side starts to feel a little thick already. And I think I'm going to apply a little bit to see if it covers better. It's more like a thin coverage but it's very layerable and you won't feel it to be too thick until you layer it like the third time. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of powder because I live in a humid country. I find that it's super important for me to always set everything with powder simply because it will just soak up the oil by the end of the day. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to contour. Why does my nose look so now. Okay, now it looks weird. Let me use my magical sponge to blend everything. And last but not least, I'm going to apply some blushes. Shimmery coral blush it reminds me a lot of Orgasm by NARS. I'm just going to soak it on my cheek. See how it glows? I find that I, after I apply this blush, I don't need to apply highlighter anymore and that's why I can like about it. Okay guys, so this is a really simple makeup simply because I really just want to try out how long Real Sick Up Hair Tiger Cream lasts on my skin. So right now it's 12.35. I'm going to check back with you in a few hours and just show you what this magical 
product will do on my skin hi my darlings i'm back so right now it is 19:44, and as you can see here i can definitely still see coverage and i actually put on false lashes and change my earring and change my clothes because i went out for a bit just now yeah guys i think the coverage so far is still amazing it has been seven hours and this is what it looks like i mean definitely i feel like the setting powder helps i wouldn't wear it without a setting powder by the end of seven hours i don't know if it's the weather or what but i could definitely feel like you know it's a little thick like i just can't wait to wash my face i actually wanted to do this review until 12 hours but i just thought it feels kind of heavy replacing my foundation with the sika pair can be a great idea especially if you have a blemished skin and you have super sensitive skin and you just really want your acne to heal before you start wearing your regular makeup again i would definitely recommend this and after seven hours it hasn't irritated my skin in any way and it covers pretty well and the color doesn't oxidize so that's great so i hope that you find this video helpful and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe and i just want to say thank you so much for all of you guys who have watched this video and make sure that you thumbs up if you like it and also share it to your friends who have acne and blemished skin maybe this video can help them thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye my darlings